What is going on guys? Welcome back to BMG Driving. Welcome back to career mode. We're kind of picking up where we left off in the last episode. This is the red Lansdale that we got for pretty decent price. All wheel drive 3.8. Really nice vehicle. This is the first fragile mission I'm doing with it and I'm trying to see if it's going to do the thing again and so far so good. We were able to successfully deliver this with no issues. Since I was confident that Lansdale was going to be able to do these fragile missions, I put about 10 grand into the vehicle and that included the supercharger, upgraded suspension, and I think I upgraded the engine block as well to handle the boost that I was going to be putting in it. Arriving at Spearleaf, I tried to see if the first uh, little thing over here had any missions and it didn't have anything good, so I went to the next one. The container parking had a few jobs, but it was nothing that was going to be astronomical, but I just wanted to test it and see if it could be done. As soon as I pull off from the container parking, I get the engine is starved of oil message. And I'm very confused because everything should be fixed and the car is brand new. Like, <laughs> it shouldn't be having this issue. But then it gets worse. Oil overheating, engine is starved of oil, and then connecting rod damage. I'm, I'm like, yo, this engine is literally grenading itself as I'm driving right now. I finally make it to the delivery spot and this vehicle is like 50% power. It struggled all the way over here. I'm like, okay, I just need to make this delivery and send it to the shop. No, the engine locked up. So I come home and I'm like, okay, we need to come up with a with a resolution. So I just start selling everything. I sold the Autobello, which I really didn't want to do, but I had the Aurora, which is kind of like the off-roady vehicle that I need. And the Aurora is kind of rare. I don't, I haven't seen it again in the store, but I always see the buggy. So I really want one. I'll just rebuy it. So now the hunt's on. It's been three days in real life that I've been trying to find either an H-Series that is a long wheelbase or an H-Series that is an upfit with a box truck on the back. So anything at this point I can get is, is amazing. I'm, I'm just desperate at this point. I'm tired. I don't want to play this game anymore. I want to go home. But then something caught my eye. You guys don't know, the Chair FCV is one of my favorite vehicles in this game. And I really want one of my little all-wheel drive slidey boys. And uh, this one's a diesel. I thought you could customize the diesel a little more, but you can't. Um, the diesels are pretty pretty slow as far as um, what, you, what I want them for. Um, so yeah, I may have to get a mod to make the diesels faster or just uh, put like a 1.6 or even a 2.5 in there and just call it a day. But I, I did buy it and it is my vehicle now. I immediately took it to the shop, put five grand in it, locked the differentials, put a race exhaust. I was pretty happy with it, but I think it's definitely way too slow for what I need it for. But getting around the city, doing these race missions is uh, it's gonna be just fine. I took the car to the city and I was just having way too much fun doing donuts and drifting and trying to get this thing sideways. And I just, I wasn't even paying attention that I was in career mode. And yeah, I wrapped it. So this uh, brings me to where we're at. Um, <laughs> this vehicle is pretty damaged, but something that I realize is this diesel engine is literally indestructible. I just beat around this thing for maybe, I'm, I'm not even exaggerating here, like 10 minutes. I'm just, I'm like trying to get this thing to just stop working because it started overheating. And I'm like trying to get this thing to die and it just won't die. Eventually I just gave up because it just wouldn't die. Yeah, this is crazy. This is one of the most like strongest engines I've seen in this game. Let me know down below if you guys think there's another stronger engine, but I'm honestly impressed. Like, this thing would not die. All right, well, I finally came in and I was like, well, I got to do these race missions. I got to make a little bit more money, get a little more stars. I did them enough to where I could use my own vehicle. So I pulled out the Aurora and started doing these missions. Something that I did learn is that you can fix your vehicle before you start a match, which is pretty cool. But if the vehicle, like if you leave the race after fixing your vehicle, it automatically blows the radiator. For whatever reason, it doesn't fix the radiator. So whenever you finish a race, your radiator is blown. It's the weirdest thing ever. Guys, we have finally found it. The H-Series full-wheel drive. There's actually a full-wheel drive, which is awesome. Long wheelbase, man, which is absolutely amazing. I felt like I've been playing for hours in this game, trying to get this van to pop up. I've probably three or four days worth of footage just to try to find this van. That's why there's not even an upload in the middle of the week because I usually try to do three uploads. But I've been so stuck with career mode trying to find this van. And since there's no mods in the repository, I've just been playing this, trying to find this freaking van. Let's go for a test drive. Let's make sure it runs. No funny business. We are in uh, regular gearbox mode, so we'll just drive off. Um, looks like everything as well. I have to hit F5 to reload the UI. 
I'm having a weird UI glitch where everything is starting to act up. No, it's really broken. Oh no, that's not good. The footage got corrupted uh, when I reloaded the UI. So hopefully that everything is recording now. Test drove the van, no problem, drives really well. It is full of drive, I can confirm. Everything does work. I am very excited to uh, to have this thing. Um, I was saying in the footage that got corrupted is someone suggested that I just sell the T series that if they update it anyways, it's probably gonna get probably gonna my save is probably gonna get wiped. And that may not be the case since um, they may not do a, a real update, like a major update until a few months. But even then, the T series sitting in the garage is just a waste of money right now and a waste of space. So we'll just swap it out for this thing, um, get us a little bit more money so we can buy some of the fun toys that we want. My goal in the series is to get like a Chantilla or just like an, a really nice like $100,000 car and see if we can get there. So uh, with the with the T-Series, uh, traded in, we're looking at $7,300, which is not bad. I've spent a lot of money repairing vehicles and buying vehicles and trying to flip them. And this is definitely well worth the wait. Let's take this over to the commercial garage and let's uh, put some cargo boxes in it. Let's start delivering, man. I'm so glad we found this thing. All right, we're pulling into the garage. Everything is looking really good in this van drives really well it's really powerful actually i wonder what engine is it i think it's the 5.9 i've noticed that these like these like more high powered vehicles come with the bigger engines so let's see let's put this thing in park this interior looks really nice too i'm excited to see what we can put in this thing uh let's open the hood actually i don't even think we can see the engine oh there may be like a leader number on the cover yeah, no, there's no shot. I think it is the bigger engine, but we can... Let's see, I think we can see in the computer. Uh, H series. Oh, we can we can look in the parts. My parts, engine. Yeah, we have the 6.9 liter. It is the biggest engine, which is amazing. It's definitely going to help us with cargo boxes. Okay, so we can do the roof bars. That's crazy. How many can we put up there? <laughs> um extra large can we do another one no two i feel like that's overkill dude let's hop in here okay so we got we got an extra two extra larges in there that is huge um looks like we can fit one more so i guess they won't let you put one right here at the end because of the wheelbase, maybe? Let's see how they want you to do it. So that, okay, so that's for the top. We may do that for the top. Because realistically, I hate, I hate the uh, the thing in the back. Wow, that is, that is amazing that it's holding that weight, dude. Actually, there's no weight yet, but I mean, it is a lot of weight. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we have three extra larges in there. Um, and then the two small up top. Do we even need that? Like, realistically? Do we even need the little medium one in the passenger seat? I guess we might as well, right? Um, I'm just hoping that it does work with this van. And it's not a complete waste of money and time. Let me know what you guys think about the cargo boxes in the top. I think right now we're going to hold off. Just don't think I need the, the, the need for it. But if you guys think it's worth it, putting an extra large or even the two small ones up there, definitely let me know. Leave a, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. You guys have been crushing this series, and I truly do appreciate it. So just let me know what you guys think. I think that is definitely going to be a done deal, though. We will get these boxes loaded. So that's a total of three extra larges and one medium, which isn't bad for $900. Let's see if we can make this money back, dude. <laughs> that is my biggest thing. Is there anything this vehicle needs before we go? We have a hitch, luckily. I don't know if that's a bumper pull or if that's an actual hitch. But I am... I guess I could do this, huh? That is an actual hitch. So we can... We can get some uh, small trailer actions. 
going on there. Alright, let's go. I think best thing to do, before we even go too far, let's let's go over here and let's uh, let's see what we got as far as deliveries and if the, the fragile missions are gonna mess us up. Oh no, I'm an arcade. Alright, we got one fragile mission. Ooh, it's actually going to Spear Leaf. Which is amazing. I'll actually take all of these. Uh, these should all be going. Warehouse parking is also in Spear Leaf. Okay, that's fine. We can do that. We can do that. Uh, these are going the opposite way. But we do have one fragile mission. So let's see how it does. So far we're at 100. Good. Okay, that, that, that was a really hard break, so that was my fault. I take responsibility for that. Oh yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, before if I'd be driving this, it would already gone. It would already probably be at like 80. No, I think we're good. Let me, um, I'm gonna go, we'll go straight. We just have to drive really good and just uh, make it over there. I love the interior of this thing. Usually these vans have the, uh, like the center console thing comes out and the engine is actually under that but I guess the H series is a different different type of van or right, I am feeling a slight like wobble I don't know if that's just the road but it should be fine I don't think it's anything to worry about All right, we're pulling up to uh, Spearleaf. Yeah, Spearleaf. Okay. Um, let's pull over here. We're gonna pull off right. Oh, don't hit me. All right, we're gonna park right here. I know we have something right here. Let's see if there's anything for us to grab. It's a four hundred dollar one. That's fragile. That's not too bad. I think that's worth it, right? Yeah. There's two of those. I got thirty seconds. All right, we're gonna grab those. It looks like we can do fragile missions all day. So I am very happy to see that. Uh, my box is already kind of full. Um, oh, but well, okay, well, we have we have a few to drop off, though. That's right, we have, we have to drop off stuff. I know the big money makers are going to the quarry and to the steel factory. So let's just see how that goes. I'm trying to play as legitimately as I can. None of my stuff gets ruined. I'm at 91%, so I need to chill out. Okay, we're good. This is the city construction site entrance. Okay, that's where I'm going next. Anything here? 166. Not too bad, actually. Restaurant, parking, fresh veggie box. Okay. Well, I mean, it's better than nothing. We got it. We kind of got to do them now. Uh, because now we can and this is uh, the diner I don't think that's worth it for four four bucks or forty five dollars I don't think it's worth it let's just move on let's go to the construction site first and then we will move on we'll check out the steel factory see if they have anything going for them all right just a quick update I am so far doing really well uh, the construction site one was at 93%. I guess I was just driving kind of recklessly before we left the dockyards. But other than that, pretty good. I'm noticing how hard it is to drive normally with a controller. Uh, I'm definitely going to see if I can figure out the rates on the triggers. Because, like, you just touch them a little bit and the throttle's, like, bouncing super high. So, I'm going to have to figure that out. And the steering, too, it's really, really touchy. But other than that, I think it's really well. And it's definitely something wrong with the T-Series, at least on my computer. I know a few different people had issues, and some don't, and some do. But the H-Series definitely looks like it's the uh, the best vehicle to be using right now. So, we'll just uh, see how it does. Let's go to the Steel Factory, see if there's any good missions. Let's end it at the Quarry, and see if there's any good missions there. And then in between episodes, I'm going to grind these missions out, see how much money we can make, see if we can break even. Uh, which I'm not looking too not looking too good for us, but <laughs> we have a lot of expenses, okay? Arriving at the delivery site, I actually unlocked Precious Urgent Cargo, which is one of the last things I needed to unlock. That's really awesome. All right, I am pulling up to the Steel Factory. Guys, real quick, 
you guys notice that they're like doing things in West Coast? They're like adding things, moving things around. It's so ominous. <laughs> I hate that they don't tell you what the what BMG is doing to the maps. It's actually pretty cool. But we are pulling up to the steel factory. Let's see what uh, we got here for us today. Hopefully it's not zero because I'd probably cry. I drove all this way. Where's the little thing? Is it not here anymore? Hello? It's like right here, right? Or am I tripping? I'm pretty sure it was right there. Huh. I'm pretty sure it was right there. From the last episode, that's where it was. I wonder if I lost it, maybe? Maybe the backup messed up? But it used to be right here. Very weird. Well, I guess I'll be on the lookout to see, um, because you can only unlock locations by going to them, like delivering to them. So maybe I just need to try to find it again and I'll be able to just start using it. So let's go to the quarry. Let's check out if there's any other deliveries and then we will be done. All right. I've been driving this thing for a little while now. Um, something I've noticed. Let me see if it shows up. Yeah. So see, the rear brakes are fading. So... I need to upgrade the brakes on these pretty badly. I guess the weight is uh, is doing a number, and um, I'm driving it pretty heavy, <laughs> but it's it's doing very well. I mean, I'm not even overheating, and the brakes are starting to it's starting to fade. So we gotta definitely fix that when we get back into the garage. That is something I will take a look into. See if there's better brakes. I'm sure there's drums in there. Yeah, I'm sure there are. We can put some pads and rotors. Uh. No, no available jobs here, which is kind of sad. Usually there's some good jobs here. I don't know. Wow, dude. Okay. I don't know what's going on with the quarry, but no jobs recently. So very weird. I'm supposed to have at least a few good jobs um, here, but I guess not. Okay. Well, we got to figure things out. Wow, dude. No way he just did that. And then he did it again. Jeez. Okay, well, we're going to go back to the, uh, just the garage over here. I cannot pronounce the city. The Bellasio city or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's a big jump. We are going to go to this garage, just park this bad boy up, and uh, call it a day, man. This video has definitely been a long time running. What's up with these drivers? But yeah, I'm, I'm finally glad we have the H-Series. Let me know what you guys want to see in the next video. Um, uh, so a viewer did suggest that there's a mod that you can download, which basically gives you kind of like a uh, developer mode or debug mode. And you can change whether the traffic, you know, has cops or how many vehicles are in the store. If that's something you guys are interested in, like if we can add more vehicles per store, more delivery jobs, things of that nature, let me know. I can look into it and we can install the mod and go through it and kind of see how it works. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video and liked it, please subscribe, hit that like button, and bye.